Hello peeps, how's everyone doing since my last blog? Uh yeah, my last uh blog video I think was good, though I know there were sound quality problems because I wasn't using this thing here, known as an external mic. Now pop sound a lot better now. Yeah, I think my last video was my latest uh, drum cover video of uh, O of Oasis, Live Forever. Which, uh, funny enough, is probably my uh, best drum cover so far, all done in one take. No joke, it's done in one take. Um, yeah, just been recently uh, busy with a lot of stuff, college, um, uh, you know, college and um, Sawing up uh, loads of stuff as usual, and uh, early today I went out with my camera to the O2. It was absolutely freezing cold. Yes, winter is here, or should one call it the winter of our discontent? Um, I mean, there's basically quite a lot of people uh, over the O2. I mean, I got there by about. <sighs> probably by 3.30 to 4 o'clock and the dusk was slowly coming in and um, I took my uh, DLSOR with me and I and it took some really nice snapshots of the O2 as well as that of Canary Wharf and where else not not that I want to bore you with that too much but it was just really fabulous and um, got to see you know a lot, a lot of nice stuff and whatnot. and I somehow, in a way, feel somewhat very grateful, if not humble, for things, I guess. Yes, I've uh, put um, ego aside and not being egocentrical or razzmatazzed or anything like that at all, putting on some sort of show or anything like that. You know, this is me, this is how I normally speak, and, you know, just trying to keep it real, really, and, um, just hope I do. Yeah, when I was over there, it was absolutely freezing cold. I think it's probably getting down to just about above or below zero, probably minus two or something, I think. Though during the night, it'll probably be about minus five or six in some places up and down the country. Um, yeah, um, I, um, I recently try to get back into a relationship with somebody and I not that I want to name names, I'll leave them as anonymous because I don't think they would like me speaking their name li live on YouTube so all I'm going to say is that it just didn't work out so well and um, you know this person wanted to invite me go clubbing with them and I was unsure and stuff probably fearful maybe I mean, I've had a bust up with this person before, and it just um, it just didn't work out the way I thought it was going to, and you know, and if that person's watching, like I said before, I'm sorry it didn't turn out the way you thought it did, and I know you want me to come with you and stuff and go with the flow, as it were. But I decided it just. I decided it just wasn't for me. I am sorry if I've let that person down. And if they uh, thought I was hitting out on their friends and stuff, and I didn't mean to. I guess people will uh, probably be watching this uh, video thinking, "My God, what a sad, lo lo lonely guy." I'm not. Not really. problem with me is probably one of, m one of my relatives would probably say to me I've got too much time on my hands so maybe I need to fill that time to do other things and as recently today I said earlier I went out and, d and did an activity I just went did some photography and um, came back with some wonderful photos of Canary Wharf, the O2 and that and, so and some high tech buildings or architecture that was pretty well advanced, very futuristic in a way, and um, 
You know, I'm not, I'm not being, I'm not being like, oh, you know, egocentric or anything like that at all, vain or, you know, those those ships have sailed. You know, they've had their time with me, and um, at, at that phase went. So um, here I am to, you, you know, you know, like in some of the Who's uh, lyrics from Behind Blue Eyes, I don't want to end up being seen as the sad man or the bad man. Behind blue eyes, as it were, or a good man, even I don't know. It just depends how you want to look at it, and um, I don't know. I guess I'm just being was the words reflective, philosophical about life, and you know, maybe I'm not happy and proud with some of the things I did back then in the past. Maybe I was upset. Maybe I was confused. Yeah, I'd say I was heavily confused, but my mind's starting to come come out of that confusion. Well, I guess I'm partially still confused, but I'm starting to sort my mind out through a lot of EFT psychotherapy, as it were, and just trying to, you know, not be judgmental, be angry or horrible, nasty, rude, and up upset or want revenge or, anything, or vengeful or anything like that towards people, you know. Or be deluded or disillusioned, you know, just, um, you know, just being very philosophical and reflective at life and realising that some things don't work out and maybe it's better this way, you know. And... If I've hurt anyone, if I have any regrets, or if there's any guilt, or any hard feelings, or anything whatsoever towards me, then I'm sorry for all of that. I want to repeat it once, I want to repeat it, well, I've said it once, but I don't want to repeat it twice, or a dozen times, and it's the last thing I'd want, or for anyone, for that matter. And, um... Yeah, I've just been very thoughtful. Just, um, you know, just trying to have a positive outlook on life, as always, and uh, hope I do the best to try and be a better man. Hopefully, I guess. Yeah, I had a good time. I came back. It was absolutely f uh, freezing when I was walking from the station. I almost thought my hands were and, uh, and fingers were going to turn into, like, popsicles. Like I was, um, because I wasn't wearing my gloves, but I soon put them back on. It's the equivalent of being like in a fridge freezer. But then I guess that, that they say it's the coldest winter was it like for 50 or 60 years, so I heard. In record, in record weather history, I guess. But, um, I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see how the weather turns out this December. Yeah, maybe I'll try and do blogs more often, and not and not too many drum covers, eh? Yeah, maybe I should. Yeah, recently, a few weeks back, I bought like a. Um, funny enough, another. What is it? Another. Uh, a similar biography to uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I know he recently released that Total Recall book, but this was another one before by Lawrence Sleema about the life of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Hang on, I'll show you what I'm going on and about. Here it is. Don't know if the lighting's that totally good. Hang on. Let's try and not let my fingers get in the way. Here we go. So that's what it's called. The Life of Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's out there somewhere in some bookstores, car boot sales. Well, I got this one from a car boot sale. Quite cheaply, probably for a pound or something. That's the guy there. Oh, what's his name? Lawrence Lima. That's the one. Lawrence Lima. That's the name. Nice front picture cover. And it's got, like, all these... Uh, you know, it's telling all his life and biography and stuff, you know, showing pictures like, oh, here's one, for example, of, uh, uh, was it, him and his wife, Maria Sh Shariva, hang on, um, yeah, I'm just really big and interested, because Arnie's done, a, uh, uh, done ever so much, oh, hey, I'm not saying, oh, you know, he's going to be as, as good as Bruce Willis, who's probably just as, or, or, or They've done a lot more than him and Sly, but you know, uh, 
looking back, like so a career span about two or three decades, four decades actually, maybe five, five decades I think, and he's done a lot in bodybuilding, the film industry, being one of the last great in, great action heroes of the 80s and uh, of, you know the 80s, 90s, noughties even 2000s, sorry, and um, you know, recently he's been in Expendables 1 and 2, you know, making a comeback as well as with another new movie that's going to be coming out soon in the cinemas. Don't know if he'll be another great hit. I think he's also starring in another recent film with uh, Sly as well. Yeah, it's good. He's still acting now. He's returned to acting. returns in some ways back to form. Well, maybe not as previous as some as his original action is like the Terminator franchise. Yeah, got the whole quadrilogy set so far, well, I'd say four parts of the saga so far. I like, I like the first two, that's Terminators 1 and 2 with Ar Arnie in it, as well as the third one. Though they say the second no, the second one that was done by Dr James Cameron is the best selling number one grossing film of all time, 1991, and featured dazzling effects done by ILM, that's uh, Industrial Light and Magic at the time, and they were like, you know, one of the top special effects companies ever developed and uh, uh, ever developed, created and produced by uh, George Lucas, who started them out with, uh, with his Star Wars trilogy in the late 70s. You know, just, uh, um, well, you know, they did start out at, at that point, but I think they didn't really get up again until the 80s. The 80s were definitely, no doubt, their era, alright. It's just in the late 70s, you know, they were having to make out and sort of like tunnel type studio out in a car, car lot. That's how they started out. And Then they went over to the California Ranch that George Lucas set up and now we have this there effects and set pieces that we have today for so many major Hollywood blockbuster movies. And, of course, main and and also independent movies done by independent film directors, you know, it's, um, it's turned out really brilliantly. Not that much would have uh, changed in the uh, film industry as much, except now a lot of it's all but done by uh, CGI. I heard that the latest GI Joe uh, sequel, uh, uh, the second instalment to the Rise of the Col Cobra with uh, Bruce Willis featured um, had to stay in longer in post production a lot more than uh, than than its original release date because they're trying to uh, turn it into a 3D movie. I mean, hey, I wish them all the best success at it, but I don't know what difference bringing 3D is. Maybe they're worried because there's of a weak script, weak dialogue, weak story. So, oh, we'll spruce it up in 3D and maybe that'll be um, more eye catching. Jai Joe 3D, you know, oh god, I think 3D has become somewhat a little bit, I'm not, <laughs> just maybe a little bit gimmick treed and um, overrated, they uh, they probably think it can enhance the storyline, but it's more like to cut, but in some cases it's more to hide a weak storyline, which is a bit of a worry, you just have to hope, hope they've had a good it's a decent, brilliant team of script writers that have come up with a decent uh, story for, for a second instalment. Hopefully. We'll see. Uh, I recently went to see Skyfall, and I think that's... Um, well, I don't know what to make of it. It's kind of, it's kind of like brilliant, and, and they had to kill off the character of M. Well, the old M, that's Judy Dench's character that's been going on since Goldeneye. And that is it's kind of like tragic, really, because I thought she'd continue well. Obviously, she couldn't continue forever, but I didn't. I wasn't the sort of ending I was expecting. I don't know. It was very, I don't know. Cause in some ways, it was kind of like a strange ending because it had Jamie Bottom calling her mummy. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, 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 dear. And him having lots sort of like blonde, uh, you know, blondish, uh, uh, wavy hair and something. What's all that about? Trying to make his bad guy character look looks like something out of Stromboll from, oh, was it Thunderball? But Skyfall is really good, and is, or oh, and this particular film celebrates 50 years. You know, it's the 50th anniversary of James Bond and all that. You know, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And as far as I'm concerned, I give it like. Uh, 
I'll give it uh, like you know four star rating and uh, could give it uh, I mean I could give it nine but I thought give it a decent eight out of ten uh, and that and that should be okay um, now I was just a little I guess I, I guess it's because I was a little bit concerned about the end in the pace of the movie but I think a decent eight out of ten be one of the best action and spy fr uh, thrillers around so I recommend it. It's worth seeing. Yeah, uh, worth seeing. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. If it's still in cinemas, I don't know if they're keeping it. Op I don't know if they're keeping cinemas for longer because of the Christmas period. Uh, that just depends on the. Uh, it depends on the on production. So they think they've made enough revenue with it. I can't see why they can't continue into uh, Christmas if it's still a big hit. If it can go on for another few weeks, I can't see why not. Really. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I've recently been to the gym, apparently I've lost a stone in weight, and I'm down to just about 12 stone there. I might have put a few pounds back on, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not, or maybe... No, I think I have lost... Yeah, I have. It's obviously noticeable, to a certain extent, I guess. Uh, yeah. But I haven't been to the gym recently, not been doing enough cardio. You need to try and do it about... Uh, you know, maybe uh, do it for about up to maybe like two or three weeks. Uh, but I guess two's more than enough for now. Though freeze, I suppose. I don't. I don't know. I don't want to be. I don't want people thinking I'm some sort of health or gym freak. No, no. Obviously, the reason I do card is to help beat all the stress and anxiety because I do suffer a lot. And this way, it's better than using medication all the time. That I know I need to regularly take medication as a result of my ang of my depressive and anxiety disorder, which is coupled with my Asperger's and all that, you know, call mo morbidly as it were, you know. Um, yeah. Um, oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? I know there's recently been I'm a celeb. Get me out of here, as well as the X Factor gearing up with the final lists and oh God. Was it with I'm a celeb have to get me out here? I always, f I don't know why they uh, ITV continued to bring on that sh show. I think it's gone down in popularity and the ratings are not as great. I think this has been, you know, like a tough year for ITV, tr uh, uh, trying to get uh, get more ratings boosts. And some shows that have been carrying on for a while, unfortunately, have finally gone past their sell by, by date as they were, and unfortunately have lost favour with the gen general Joe public, so um, I guess that's why they decided to let more people v uh, vote off uh, celebrities on the show, now it's down to like the final three. I honestly don't know who won, maybe all three of them won, I don't know. And to be honest, I don't really care, I don't think many, m most people give a rat's arse, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, I think I'll end it there in a couple of minutes, has been going on for 20 minutes, so I don't want to be overrun. Um, yeah, uh, hope to do another blog soon, and maybe another drum cover, or another documentary, or whatever, and um, hope to keep you guys up to speed as always. And, um, well, I might I might make another video free around the house, maybe I might do a tour where I live and stuff, I don't know. Maybe I'll come up with more brilliant, idealistic, creative ventures. Somewhat, somewhat. Yeah, also my uh, my Alexander t uh, Technique course is uh, coming to an end and um, might go on another course to do photography. I don't know if I still want to pursue acting or not. I don't know whether I see a, fu a future of myself becoming a major actor or whether it's more to do with music. I think it's going to be more with music, being a musician and all that. I really do still want to try and break into the music industry of the band. To hit the big time and uh, I don't know when my time's coming. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Future's not written in stone. One can only hope. Um, I mean, hey, i still got a couple of part-time jobs, but they're kind of like as and when they need me type jobs. Like that. I'm kind of like on call, as it were as and when they need me on certain dates like oh for example I got up, up them this week and all that yeah 
anyway bear wrap it up and uh, until the next time ciao bye